If you've ever used WordPress to build a WooCommerce based website, you'll know that the My Account section is a little bit of an unloved place. Today, we're going to rectify that by making it look a little bit more pro and in keeping with our design. To do that, we're going to be using the free plugin Shop Engine, who have kindly sponsored this series of videos. So let's take a look first of all at what you get straight out of the box with WooCommerce and the account section, and then we'll see how we can take Shop Engine to make it look just a little bit more pro. Okay, so this is my demonstration website. And if we go into the My Account section, you'll see that we get, well, this really. It's functional, but it's not very imaginative. And we're gonna be using Elementor in this example, so we can use that alongside Shop Engine to customize the look and feel of this. Okay, so this is what we're starting off with. And if we go to, for example, the orders, we can see any orders we placed. Go to downloads, we can see all the downloads edit our addresses, those kinds of things. You want this to be a little bit of a nicer location for your paying customers. So let's hop over into WordPress, go into the pages section, and we're gonna go into the My Account page. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this with Elemental. Now, you may find that the first time you do this, you'll get a little short code block. Just delete that so you start off with a clean, blank, fresh slate. So once we've done that, we're going to end up with a blank page with our header and footer and everything all in place. So what we're gonna do is go and search for account. Now, once we see that, you see we've got two different options inside here, two different widgets. We've got the WooCommerce pages and we've got the My Account. Let's open up the WooCommerce pages first of all. And then we can select what page we want from here and we're gonna choose My Account. And all this really does is that loads in exactly what we saw on the front end of our demonstration site. We've got no control over this now whatsoever. So let's delete that from there. Let's just search for account again. And this time we're gonna use the My Account feature. And this is part of Shop Engine Free. So once we do that, you can see this now pulls in a design. Now we can go ahead and we can use the options on the left-hand side to customize the look and feel of this to make sure this in keeping with everything we're doing. We can switch between two different layouts. We can have a horizontal or a vertical layout. So if you want your tabs across the top, you can choose the horizontal. If you like them down the side in the more traditional fashion that you have with WooCommerce, well, you can choose the vertical option. Let's switch it back to vertical for now. And you can see then we've also got the option for spacing, which allows us to control the space between the two different columns with all your navigation on the left hand side and the actual content of each of these endpoints on the right hand side. So let's just open that up a little bit, set it to something like 20 pixels. If you wanted to, though, you could still use M's or percentages if you're working like that to give you a more fluid design. Then we've got each of the different sections. You see dashboard, for example, and we can change the name of that orders, downloads addresses and so on. You can also use dynamic tags if you're using Elementor Pro, which means that you can add these in after the fact with an options page if you wanted to. So all of these are set up inside you. You can adjust the alignment of each of those entry points. So easily change that over. So if you're doing RTL languages, then you could easily set this to be over to the right hand side. However you wanna set it up. We're gonna put it back to the left though. You've got a full complement of responsive design options as well. So we can change the alignment based upon tablet, mobile, or desktop, any of those breakpoints that we have. So that's the basics of the tab section, but most of this is all set up inside the style area. And you can see inside here, we've got lots of options. It's all broken down into five key different sections. Your tabs, sections, typography, forms, and order details. So if we take a look at the tabs to start off with, we can set things up. We can set the typography inside here. We can set things up for the normal, the hover, and the active states. So at the moment, this is, you can see, not really giving a huge amount of feedback. So let's rectify that. First of all, let's make this have the same kind of font styling. You can use the global styles options as part of Elementor if you want to, and I would recommend doing that. For this example though, I'm simply gonna go ahead and just set this up manually, but you can set it up using those global styles. So we're gonna be using Montserrat for this example. We we'll select that. Now we've already got our font looking a little bit more in keeping. We can adjust the weight of this. So let's set this to something like 500. And if you want to, you can adjust the size using any of the normal options for pixels, M's, REMs, and uh, viewport width. So all those options are inside there. I'll leave that as it is, so it's using the default value. Again, you've got all your styling options inside you for your line height, word spacing, and so on. If we come out, you can see we can also set the background type. So at the moment, this is for the normal state. So this is the color you see, the sort of light gray, and that's perfectly fine. But we wanna change the color of the typography. So to do that, we're gonna simply hit the color option inside here, and we're gonna set this to be the secondary. And you can see that now just makes it a little darker, a little easier to see. 
If we want to, we can swap over to the hover state and now we can control what happens on the hover over this navigation. So let's just change the background type. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose one of our global colors. We'll set this to be our secondary color. We'll come down to our color for our typography and we'll set this to be white. And now we get a nice hover effect over on our navigation on the left hand side. And finally, you can do the same thing for your active state if you want to. We can set a background color. So let's set the background color of this to be our primary blue and we'll change the color of our typography again to white. So now whatever's active, you can see will be highlighted in blue. And if we mouse over all the other ones, we get this nice high contract, contrast visible way of actually going over our navigation. So really easy to do. You can also do things like adjust the border type, your width, your border radius, those kinds of things. So if we do like four, for example, we get these little sort of rounded corners on our navigation. We can adjust our spacing on there as well to open those up a little bit. And just with a little bit of tweaking, we're already getting something that's a little bit more unique and a little bit more in keeping with our design and style aesthetic. So that's how we can set up our tabs. Now we can come into our different sections if we want to. And again, we can change things like background colors. So for example, let's go back to our dashboard. If we just change our background color on here, you can see that just changes the overall background color of this section on the right hand side. And undo that now for now and just clear that completely. But the options are there. If you want to put drop shadows in there, you can do that. You can see it's very, very easy. All the key styling options that you're used to when you're working with normal elemental widgets are all available inside your, your colors, your width, border types, all those kinds of things. Typography, again, we can come into here if we want to and we can change our typography. So we could come in and we can choose one of our global fonts. So for example, the text option, or we can set this to use one of our other ones like primary, for example. And anywhere that's actually referenced then will be updated and changed. And again, we can change the color inside here to give us higher contrast if we want to. All those options are available. Same thing goes then for your general text, your typography, your login messages, your checkboxes. All these options are available for you to customize. Links, you can adjust the colors on there. So you may have a specific color you want for your links. For example, this green. And you can see that now updates all of the links inside the dashboard for us. Again, let's just undo that. Otherwise it looks just a little bit ugly. And then we've got our forms. So if we come into something like, for example, our orders, and we've got our forms inside here, or we've got our addresses, or anywhere that uses a form element, we can go ahead and we can customize that again. So all our form options, our column gaps, our row gaps, all those options are available inside here. So we can edit everything that we want. So it's really, really easy to work with. Finally, you've got your order details, and if you want to make changes to the look and feel of the order layout, you can do that directly inside you as well. Really, really simple to set everything up. Okay, so this is what we started off with. You can see, kind of bland and horrible looking, and this is what we've ended up with. Already looks considerably better with literally a couple of minutes spent going through tweaking the design, setting the color so everything is in line with what we want. And if we go into our orders, for example, we can view any of our orders. There's the full information for our order, what we've ordered. We can come into our addresses and our addresses will be listed inside you. We can simply click on edit if we want to and make changes to any of the actual addresses, whether it's our billing and our shipping. Save our address, our account details are listed inside you as well. All the things you'd need, very, very easy to do. Before I wrap this up though, let's just quickly hop back in. Let's go back into our content and let's set this now to be horizontal and take a look what this looks like as a horizontal based version of this. So let's just update our design. And again, we've got full control over how everything looks. And you can see the styling that we set up, even though we set it up in the vertical position, the vertical layout, all the styling options are still inside you. Everything is retained so we can see exactly what it all looks like. So pretty cool to see all of those options. And again, you may find a couple of slightly different options inside you, depend upon which one you choose, but the majority of it's going to be exactly the same. So we've updated that, let's refresh our page. And there we go, we've now got a slightly different design. So if you wanted this sort of modern with everything across the top, all your tabs are there, everything is now perfectly in line, set up and styled the way that we wanted it to be set up. Really, really easy to do. And that's how easy it is to get started creating these unique design layouts for your account page. Now I would recommend checking out these other videos in the playlist, whichever side they're on, because they're gonna show you how to work with all of the other features that you've got inside Shop Engine Free. In the next video for Shop Engine, I'll be taking a look at some of the pro features. So you're gonna have two videos covering some of the more pro features that you have in the pro version of Shop Engine. But as always, all of the applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tats, and until next time, take care.